Howdy folks, this is Tim Rankin at the Farm Tough YouTube channel and we're going to talk about weeds. Now before you go grab your herbicide and start spraying stuff, let's take a look at the weeds I'm sitting in the middle of here and we'll talk about what their purpose is and what they're, what they're showing us. So we grazed this paddock about two to three weeks ago and cows came through here pretty much ate everything knocked everything down and these here's a couple weeds that they didn't quite eat and then there we got some new ones coming up so we got a thistle I think we all know recognize those as weeds we've got some burdock in here we've got some dock and we've got some cockleburs that, that are coming up all of these weeds have a root that looks like this. That's a tap root. What a tap root does is goes into the ground, opens up a big hole for itself, and then that plant will die and the root will rot out and it'll leave a hole. And so that breaks up the soil and, and bring and aerates it and allows oxygen and water to get in. And so what these weeds are doing is fixing my soil. They're telling me that this soil got too compacted and they're trying to fix it. It's too compacted, the grass isn't going to do good. And so this is nature's way of healing itself. So don't go around trying to get rid of your weeds. Look at them, see what they're trying to tell you. Um, I don't really, I don't mind seeing burdock. Cows love burdock. We'll eat that all day. I don't mind seeing dock. Um, yeah, they're trying to fix the soil, but the soil's not too bad. Um, if you've got your burdock and dock out there, the cockleburs are are up a little bit from them. Um, they're not very edible. The seeds I've got some here. If you haven't seen a cockleburr, that's what it looks like. I believe this is the. This was the was spurred the idea of Velcro. It's got these tiny little hooks on here. This is one from last year, so it's not in super good shape. But they're kind of football shaped, got all these little pointy hooks on them. Um, they'll drive you crazy. They'll get stuck all over you, stuck all over your cows, everywhere. Those seeds are actually poisonous, so you don't want your cows eating those. Um, they will eat the plant, but I like to say they only eat about five plants. And now these plants will get like six feet tall if you let them but I'm happy to see that these are kind of small, weak plants, so they're not doing super good. The, the cockleburs are kind of the next step up from burdock and dock in that they're not very edible and they have pokey burrs and the seeds are poisonous, so they're not edible at all. And, and that means that your ground is getting, is, is getting worse. Um, and the last, the worst thing is thistles because your ground is so bad and so hard that the only plant that can grow there is the pokiest, nastiest, hardiest plant. And so if you have a whole field full of thistles, you know your field's in bad shape and you gotta do some serious um, management and really watch how your cows are, how hard you're pounding it. Um, but don't just go around driving your bush hog out there bush hogging it because that's not gonna take care of the problem. They're, they're fixing your soil and it doesn't matter how much you spray them or how much you push hog them if your grounds compacted those seeds are going to grow and a lot of people don't know this but the soil is, is a big seed bank there's seeds here from 100 years ago so you cannot get rid of your thistles by picking the flowers by mowing them down by spraying them the, those seeds are just waiting for the right conditions and if it's too hard those thistles are coming back every single time the way to get rid of them is to graze properly and and let them grow. Um, my cows will actually eat about half of them. When when you mob stock properly, there's enough herd pressure that they're just in there chowing down on stuff, and they come across the thistle and they're afraid that if they don't take a bite of it, somebody else is going to beat them to it and they're going to go hungry. So they just chew it all up. And by mob stocking we add organic matter to the soil 
and that builds the soil and allows it to hold more water and be softer and the thistles are helping us do that they'll, they'll break the soil up so I'm happy to see that I just have this one little patch of thistles here and the reason that this is here is because this is the top of the hill so the cows like to come up here and we have a tree now this is a pretty sad tree but it's the only tree in this paddock so when it's hot the cows all come up here and they all try to stand in the shade and every single time they're gonna pound up here against the fence too hard and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, maybe if it's a little cooler and the cows don't need the shade, I'm gonna put maybe a little fence up so they can't get up here. But it's not too bad. Let's see what we got. Cat roots, seeds. That's about it. Um, look, see what your weeds are telling you, and and adjust your grazing accordingly. And don't don't fret about them. Don't worry about them. Don't try to be out there chopping them down all the time. You're just gonna drive yourself crazy. You can't make money running a brush hog. You make money getting beef off of acres. And you can if you can uh, graze properly, you can get way more beef off acres. You can build your soil, and your weeds will disappear. Except you'll have a few spots where they do, where they pound it, but that's not a big deal. We wanna see the nice weed free pasture the rest of the places. And and this, this is not poisoning our pasture. It's not spreading seeds everywhere. We got so many seeds all over the place anyway, it doesn't really matter. So don't worry about your weeds. Just see what they're, see, see what they're telling you and, uh, and manage accordingly. So have a good day.